where do I go to pick up my visa waiver? I was here three days ago. We just want to know what love is. I know you can show me. If there's salsa dancing here, I want to know about it. I want to find it. Start guidance. A journey of okay. a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's go. Let's start now. Let's do it. <laughs> Running around saying fried chicken, crispy fries. It's the fried chicken, crispy fries. Seriously? <laughs> Hello again. I think we're close to finishing up the visa waiver project. <laughs> I'm heading back to the Ayala Circuit Mall to the Bureau of Immigration Office there to get my visa waiver. So I went there Tuesday. Uh, and they had to, they have a three day wait. They had to hang on to my passport and I have a three day wait. And so today, uh, hopefully just go pick it up. Hopefully it's a very quick process. Anyway, I'm gonna take you along with me and we'll find out. Check out the armored car. I've seen some big armored cars out here. Big and, you know, I guess intimidating looking. <laughs> this is not one of those. Here's when you just need to transfer some money, but maybe not a massive amount of money. You just get one of these little guys. So now we're getting a little bigger, maybe slightly more intimidating, but still kind of looks like a DIY armored car. It looks like somebody at home is like, hey, you guys, if we're gonna work for the bank, we really need an armored car. Let's go ahead and see what we can slap together. And this is what they came up with. Cool. <laughs> there goes our tiny little armored car. Okay, back at Ayala Circuit Mall. This will be the last video you'll see on Ayala Circuit Mall. And really, this is gonna be fairly quick. It should be very, fairly quick. So, just gonna get in, get the visa waiver, and move on. Let's get to the top, let's get to the cinema, and then, we will get in and out of here and get on with our day. Hello. You pick up my visit visa waiver? Okay. We're in the six here, we're in the six. Six rooms, okay. Can I step through over here? Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Um, where do I go to pick up my visa waiver? I was here three days ago. Please take a seat. Okay, thank you. I just signed. 2013. October 13th. 13th. Okay. Visa, keep hanging on to that. 
Okay. That's just extra. I was told that might need extra passport photos, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, great. So this is the important thing right here. Just this people. Yeah. Hang on to that. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Visa waiver, check. I'm good till October 13th. Sweet. Time to make some more plans. Check out more of the Philippines. Okay. Right now, let's go find some place to eat. Let's check out the H&M here. Let's see how it compares to H&M in the US. Where is the men's area? Right here, hello. Okay, so price, how is the price? So this is, oh, men is upstairs. But we can get an idea from the price, even with the women's clothing. Although I don't know the prices of women's clothing that well. $8.99, $8.99. So multiply that times 0.018. Excuse me. Well, it should be less, like if you take that first number and you double it, then Like 17, if you double it, and then just less than that, I think is pretty close. I'm gonna find out later when I do the math. But uh, 17, so 34 would be if it was, if you're multiplying times 0.02. Okay, out of the H&M. You know, before doing my continuous travels, I would, on a regular basis, find clothes I liked. I would end up with a lot of clothes. And if you want to do continuous travel, you want to pack light. And so I had to get rid of a lot of things that I spent a lot of time and a lot of money on. And so now, I just have to remind myself of that whenever I'm looking at clothes, it has to be something I really, really like because if I get it, I'm basically going to replace something else and throw something else out. And that's what you will have to do if you want to continually travel. You only got so much space. Okay, <laughs> I gotta get my fix. We're back at Starbucks. It's an addiction. Thank you. Which would you choose? This one? Brinks? 3564? Or you got your ATPI 4041? You got your very stylish ATPI 1261? Who wouldn't want to roll down the boulevard in that thing? Then you got your ATPI 5189. 
all very stylish, very hip when it comes to armored cars, DIY armored cars. Because they kind of got that DIY look, right? Kind of looks like it was not super well thought out. But you do have this nice big back window here. You do have that nice big scenic panoramic window right there in the back. All right. So this is interesting. In the US, if any emergency vehicles are lights on, we have to get out of the way. But here, I guess that's not the case. We got an ambulance behind us with the lights going. And we're still just chillaxing. Of course, there's a lot of traffic. We're not driving slow just for the heck of it. But another interesting thing about the Philippines. Here we are still in traffic. But I think I think I figured out why the Filipi the Filipino people are so happy. <laughs> They always listen to classic old feel good music. <laughs> We're jamming to some Lionel Richie right now. I think that's the key. I think that's the key. Even in traffic. You want to be happy? Throw some Lionel Richie on. This traffic here is so stressful. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. Breathe. <laughs> well, you're probably used to it, right? You deal with this every day, I'm sure. Every day is like this. Traffic, rain. Lionel Richie? If there's a rain, there's a heavy traffic. Yeah. Want you to show me. I don't know if you can hear the long rich in the background, but we just want to know what love is. I know you can show me. Karaoke too. I think that's the other key to their happiness. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a microphone here in the car. A couple of microphones. Should we break out a duet? Is that gonna be the way to get through this traffic? Maybe, just maybe. I think in the Philippines, they want you to be able to do really everything you need to do when you go to a mall. So we even have a hardware store. And every mall has a grocery store. I think so. It, so far, every mall I've been to has had a grocery store. We saw a marketplace when we came into this mall.
Okay, I think we've seen everything on this floor. Let's go up a level. And we have a Zara. Let's start by exploring over this direction, in this direction. We have restrooms over this way, and then also it cuts through to the other section. We'll check that out in a minute. Let's finish walking over here. Wait a minute first. Kenneth Cole, Lacoste. Armani Exchange. I used to buy a lot of things at Armani Exchange. Let's check it out real quick. How's it going? Let's see how the prices compare at this Armani exchange. We have this knit shirt, $49.50. So I think, so 49, I think that would be about $80. <laughs> I think the prices are actually better in the U.S. Hey there. Oh, right. This is interesting. Some sort of artwork. Oh, I guess it's just a display for these lamps. 
these interesting little lamps. And we have people that are basically growing, growing their heads together. They're putting their heads together. It's a brainstorming session. It's a think tank, whatever you want to call it. All right, with me all. The beautiful piano over here. And, of course, a Starbucks. Let's check out Zara. I have found some pretty cool things at Zara over the years. So, let's look around. Men's section is over here. Hello, men's area? Oh, just a small, oh no, a whole area. Okay, I see. It's a whole nother store. Thank you. So they do have some items that are very well priced. 11.95 pesos. So maybe around $20. I'm going to get better with the calculations. I'm going to do that. Oh, interesting. This is crap. So I've noticed maybe this is a new thing. The shirts are short again? Yeah, it's crop. It's the trend now. It's the thing now. So interesting. The pendulum swings, because they used to be like the long They're shirts. Long, yeah. yeah. And now it's short shirts. Yeah, currently but, we're more on. But no midriff. <laughs> 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 that would be too much. <laughs> that would be too much. Uh, uh, I mean, if this is the look, I mean, maybe I should get used to it. And, and wide, too. Like, that is wide. We had the Cropped and wide. It's yeah. just so oversized. So unflattering. <laughs> I guess if that's the look, that's the look. Yeah, interesting. It's this a kind of wear it so that it, you will you look more younger. I guess so. Almost anybody's gonna look skinny in that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Exactly. And then maybe some more over there, it looks like. Yes. Okay, this let me check those out. Oh, it's a vest. I'm not, I'm not gonna wear any sweater out here in the Philippines. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I may have to check that out. My 
bad, ha? Oh, I got money. there. Sige, lakit na rin sa buwan. It's an interesting little store. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. It's the name. H a l o h a l o.
put Let's check out healthy options. I'm still interested in getting a new protein powder. Let's see what they have. I've been ordering a mushroom-based cacao protein powder from, I think it's called Four, Sim Four Sigmatic, I think is the name, the brand name and I love it. But it's, I think like $35 a canister, which, which is not bad. Well, I don't know. It, I'm sure I could find something much better priced, but I really love it. The only reason I want to try something else is because because I think Amazon takes quite a while to deliver to the Philippines. And I'm used to getting same day, if not same day, next day service in the US. So let's see if I can find something here. Because I've seen these, I've seen the store, Healthy Options, so I'm, I've seen it several places around Manila. So if I can find something I like here, that would be easy to get. So let's check that out. Here we go, here's the protein powders. Anything, almond protein. Almond protein, 30, 3350. 3350. Okay, I might try that. Okay, so this little canister of almond protein, you want to guess how much that would be in US dollars? I just looked it up. $59. <laughs> I'm going to stick with my mushroom cacao protein. Even if I have to wait. Okay, it's a beautiful little store though. So my, my $35 canister of cacao protein sounds pretty good about now. We have a lot of security guards here. So is the Philippines safe because they have a lot of security guards? I feel like, well, I'm sure that's part of it, but I feel like the people here are just, they seem to be more, um, more friendly or more law-abiding in general. But maybe it's because of all the security guards. And 
and not just security guards, but police officers as well when you walk around the city. This is an interesting little area. This is, it's like a little food court. Oh, it's because it's right in front of the theater. So they're giving this whole area a cinematic kind of feel by making it dark, which is really cool. I really like it. So when you come into this area and you're getting ready for a movie, you're already kind of in that movie vibe because of the dark area here. I think it's really cool. I think more movie theaters should do that. I think it works because I have no intention of seeing a movie, but just walking into that area and I guess smelling the popcorn as well, I kind of want to see a movie. And another Toys R Us. And look, even a Krispy Kreme. Manila, well, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can speak for all Manila, but Makati anyway, they have, it seems that they have every iconic U.S. store represented and U.S. Res restaurant represented. This is cool, a little arcade. All right. I hear salsa music. Jeez, is there a salsa club here? I hear salsa music. Hey there. I hello sir. I think I hear salsa music. Is there salsa music playing? Oh yes, music. Oh, you're playing that? Yes. You're sir. playing salsa music? Yes, sir. Are you a salsa dancer? Huh? Are you a salsa dancer? I uh, know, sir. <laughs> but you were playing the salsa music. Okay, I was like... Uh, it's a Korean song, actually. Oh, a Korean song? Yes, sir. I could have sworn that was salsa music. <laughs> Unless it's coming from somewhere else. Oh, let me play it like... Let's, let's 
I, I think I hear it somewhere else, though. I hear. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> oh, maybe you hear something. But I thought I heard something else. Like, if there's salsa dancing here, I want to know about it. I want to find it. So, okay. Can you stop that for a second? Like, I, I heard it somewhere. You don't know of any place that plays salsa music around here, salsa dancing? No. Okay, 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 cool. Okay, somebody's just teasing me with that music. Okay, take care, have a good night. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I can't wait to give my salsa fix. I've been waiting patiently because I twist in my knee. And I went, so I twisted my knee in Texas before I even came out here. And that was like two weeks ago. And then I came out I to the Philippines and in the first couple of days, I went dancing and uh, my, my knee was still twisted. It wasn't awful, it, was, it hurt though. And uh, I made it much worse, <laughs> made it much, much worse. So the day after I went dancing, I could barely walk, barely, barely walk. And when I did walk, it was very painful. So instead of continually trying to push it and then having it never get better, I'm just, I've got to, I got to let, let it, my, my leg get better. So I have to resist the urge to salsa dance uh, I think just maybe a few more days, a week at most, and then get back into it. And I seriously can't wait. That's, that's one of the reasons I actually chose Makati to come to, because Makati has salsa and bachata dancing six days a week. So we will check that out soon. Patience is a virtue. Okay, I think we've seen everything. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's, let's find our next adventure. Let's go ahead and I think the exit is this way, I think, pretty sure. This is where I came in. The direction that I came from. It's got a nice ambiance to it right here. The lamps on each side gives it a nice feel. Some soft lighting. I'm going to hit up my favorite supermarket, Marketplace. There. Where are the baskets? Oh, where are the baskets? Uh, that one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the little friend I made the first time I came to marketplace. Of course, it was a different store, and a different little friend. But it looked. <laughs> I can lead you to that place. 
Welcome. Where would you like to go? Why do you talk I like... I can lead you there. Really? Mm. Okay, I want to go to... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Please select the place you would like to go to. Destination. Adult diapers, is that what we're looking for? Let's hope not. Uh, adult milk? Well, I would, I always like almond milk. Wouldn't mind getting some more. Let's, let's go to adult milk. Start guidance. A journey of okay. a thousand miles begins with a single step. Let's go. Let's start now. Let's do it. <laughs> Hilarious. Are you crazy? Oh yeah. Nothing like being led by a little robot with a baby voice to the grocery store. Although the little robot's voice just changed. Heads up, coming through, coming through. Jeez, robot's getting a little aggressive. What? What is it saying? I gotta hear it. <laughs> Something about crispy fries? It's gonna lead me to some French fries instead of milk. Fried chicken, crispy fries. Yeah, fried chicken and crispy fries. Okay, sure, why not? Well, this is what I'm looking for. Where are you going? Fried chicken, crispy fries. Okay. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, milk. Running around saying fried chicken, crispy fries. The fried chicken, crispy fries. Seriously? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, we get it. You like fried chicken and crispy fries. Okay, my, one of my new favorite foods is this, this, <laughs> uh, Quaker fruit and nuts, instant oatmeal. Now here's something interesting I found. I don't know if it's the case with all of the foods, but on this, if you look at the ingredients, there's seven different ingredients there. And if you look at any flavored Quaker oatmeal in the US, I think, because of all the ones I looked at, you are going to have probably at least five times as many, as many ingredients. Maybe there's better food regulations in the Philippines. Maybe they don't throw in a bunch of extra cheap stuff to make the food go further. I'm not sure.
Okay, so we completed the immigration waiver and we visited Power Plant Mall and did miscellaneous things in between. Just in case you missed the first part of the immigration visa waiver project experience, make sure you check out this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you for our next adventure. Bye-bye.